sometimes your models may become twisted and have all kind of turns and woven together and here's an example right here this is all one seamless object and it's twisting and turning and curling and all sorts of things and then you decide I want to UV map this uh, well what axis do you choose is it a cylindrical spherical XYZ planar I'm uh, I don't think it's any of those it's kind of all of those and so you could uh, kind of get stuck and and have to figure out how to UV map it but fortunately we have a tool called UV spider and UV spider uh, it's kind of like bandsaw where it'll find uh, the loops for you and it can map it for you and it'll be a nice clean map so what I thought we could do is take a look at uh, UV mapping this uh, seamless mesh which uh, is one of the most extreme that I could uh, come up with for uh, for the twists and turns and curves and things like that. So why don't we go ahead and, and jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to four windows. Let's open up uh, the UV texture window and um, I'm gonna start with uh, this area right here and my goal is is I'm gonna select these two and select loop so you can see it goes all the way around uh, and then connects back up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select um, this area right here, this this polygon right here, come over to the map tab and under texture more UV spider I'm gonna call this braid ring and we need to just kind of uh, like Bandsaw Bandsaw Pro we need to decide whether it's odd or even and, and what I've done uh, in the past for something like this is uh, just choose between odd or even auto uh, haven't had much luck uh, really determining which way it's going to go per loop so I'm just going to try um, odd for starters and then instead of filling up the entire map I'm going to say I want to go from zero there's four uh, loops around so I'm going to go and break this up to zero to to 0.25 which would fill up uh, a quarter of our map and click OK and what it did was it just took the entire loop around and added it let's deselect it added it to the UV map okay I'm gonna take the next one right here and do the same thing so I'm gonna add it to the same map so texture more UV spider and this time I'm gonna start it on 0.25 and then go to 0.5 uh, so that we put it right next to what we already have and click OK. So there we go. I used odd again, but it, on, it, it only looped around uh, the four polygons. So I'm going to undo, come over to UV Spider, and I'm going to click even. I'm going to select even for the select edge. Uh, use the same settings. Okay. And we're good to go there. So I'll grab this next one in the, in the row. Go to UV Spider. Uh, we'll stick with the settings except we're going to go from 0.5 to 0.75 and it looks like it's trying to connect I'm just going to undo once and that'll fix that uh, so that they're not connected over here be much cleaner okay and then the last one is this guy right here and we'll go to UV spider and we'll go from 0.75 to 1 to, to finish off our UV map and it did the same thing I'm going to undo UV spider and choose odd okay and there we go so what what could have taken <laughs> uh, my entire day uh, if I had to manually do it uh, we made light work of using UV spider so what it does is it's got to be a, a quad mesh and it goes and does the equivalent of select loop or when you're working with uh, bandsaw or bandsaw pro and it goes and finds the loop for you so now I can uh, select these just to give you an idea. I'm kind of randomly selecting. But <clears throat> we've got it laid out nice on a UV map that we can go in and paint the texture. Everything is going to, uh, to UV nicely. you got a, one map for the entire thing. And uh, I didn't have to jump through, uh, through any hoops. 
um, UV spider crawls ar along the geometry and uh, lays it out nice and, and clean. The trick um, is to when you're working with UV spider is to not take up the entire map so then you don't have to move the geometry around. You could always move the geometry around once you have it on there uh, but for me this is the easier route is to kind of plan out how much of the map you want to take up with the geometry and, uh, and then that way you can have it right up against each other and laid out uh, nice and clean.